Hi ladies, so today I'm going to be talking about a subject that makes me so happy and I am just so excited for this video. We're going to be discussing the most beautiful wedding day perfumes. These are my choices and I feel like I have a super well-rounded list here. I think that there is something here for everyone and I truly believe that if you try one of these fragrances, first of all, if you're getting married, congratulations, that is so exciting. If you try these fragrances, I am sure that there is something here that you will truly fall in love with because as you guys know, I review fragrances as my job and I get to smell so many different fragrances. And in my opinion, the fragrances that I have curated here are some of the most beautiful bridal scents that I have ever smelled. And I could really imagine a beautiful bride wearing on their wedding day. So I have a lot of fragrances here, so I'm gonna have to do like a speed review of each of them. But I think that this topic is just so beautiful and I cannot even begin to imagine the pressure of choosing a wedding day scent. Like I know people are like, oh my God, choosing the dress, choosing the bouquets, choosing the guest list. Me, I think I will drive myself mental choosing a wedding day scent. Like I don't even think that I would be able to. I'm going to try to help you guys out, make the job easier for you and recommend you some beautiful fragrances that I could picture on every single bride. Okay, so I'm gonna start out with a fragrance that I used to speak about years ago. It is from Lancome and this is Jasmine's Marzipan. Now, I don't know how accessible this fragrance is nowadays, but I'm sure that you can find or at least track down a bottle somewhere online. I wanted to talk about it anyway because I remember the first time that I smelled this scent, it immediately reminded me of a bridal fragrance. So Jasmine's Marzipan is this beautiful, crisp and fresh Jasmine scent. Very, very crisp, a little bit green, a little bit soapy. It's not sweet at all, despite the fragrance containing almond and vanilla. It doesn't smell sweet. It's more of a fresh, clean, slightly soapy jasmine scent. It is just beautiful, like really, really beautiful. Longevity projection on this one is around six to eight hours, give or take, with a nice minimal projection. I absolutely love this and I could totally see this on a bride. It's gorgeous. If you were looking for something more fresh, more uplifting and more clean, but still very feminine and floral, try Jasmine's Marzipan from Maison Lancôme. Next up, we have Dama Bianca from Casamara. Now, I happen to know that a lot of people choose this fragrance for their wedding day. I have spoken with several people that chose to wear Dama Bianca on their wedding day and I can totally see why. Even before I had those conversations, Dama Bianca always resonated with me as a wedding day scent because it is just so effortlessly beautiful, so pure, so innocent, so special, so soft and gentle and delicate. And I just am obsessed with this fragrance. If you don't know how Dama Bianca smells, this is not typically what you would think of when you think of a bridal scent, but my gosh, is it beautiful. This is a gorgeous, sweet, musky vanilla with a lot of iris, some musks. It's very powdery and creamy. It still has a beautiful freshness in the top. And it's just incredible, you guys. Dama Bianca is really beautiful. I can just imagine smelling this on a bride. For me, I think it would be breathtaking. It's soft, it's musky, it's gentle, but it's sweet and cozy. It's a little bit fresh, it's a little bit powdery. It is truly incredible. So if that sounds like your jam, like your cup of tea, you must try Dama Bianca from Casamirati. It is really, really incredible. And something really good about this scent is that it has really good longevity and projection. It lasts about eight hours on my skin with a nice minimal projection. It also really holds onto your clothes really well. This is a beautiful wedding day scent for somebody that wants something a little bit sweet and maybe more cozy. Next up is a fragrance that I have never spoken about on my channel, but I am currently 
obsessed with this fragrance. This is Compliment from Violet. Now, I have been talking non-stop on my TikTok about Nuit Bleu from the same brand. I am wearing it every single day as my signature scent, which would also make a beautiful bridal fragrance. The only thing is that the longevity on Nuit Bleu is not very good. Compliment, on the other hand, really embodies that bridal fragrance. This is a gorgeous white floral with a lot of uh, green qualities. It's quite musky, quite green, very creamy, and it's just gorgeous. A lot of people think that this fragrance smells like Carnal Flower from Frederick Mull, and I must agree there is some similarities, although I think that I prefer Compliment. It's more cozy, it's more rounded, it's more musky, it's more soft and smooth, and I'm just in love with this fragrance. It's tuberose, I think there's some jasmine, maybe some gardenia. It has, like I said, a little bit of a green tone, musky and creamy, and it's just gorgeous. This is what I would classify as more of a typical classic bridal fragrance. I feel like this one would smell incredible if you're having a summer wedding. I think that a summer wedding with this fragrance would work magic. So please guys, check this one out, take a note. Compliment, it's called Compliment actually, from Violet absolutely gorgeous white floral fragrance very classic smelling for a very um beautiful and classic wedding next up we have a fragrance that i speak about quite a lot it is fleur narcotique the x-ray from ex nihilo now this for me is just so gorgeous and so bridal this guys is just beautiful and i have said it a few times I think that this is my favorite fresh musky floral fragrance ever. This is peony and osmanthus and orange blossom and a lot of high quality musks and it has something a little bit kind of fruity somewhere in there and it is just incredible you guys. Fleur Narcotique, the X-ray. Don't go for the original, go for the X-ray. It is just beautiful. It's so plush and soft and it smells like the color baby pink to me this smells like baby pink despite being in this very dark blue like intense bottle this smells like the color baby pink it's just gorgeous i would see this more on a very feminine bride somebody that is very typically feminine i feel like you would love this fragrance it's a lot of peony it's a lot of musks it's a lot of orange blossom and osmanthus, and it's just incredible. The only thing, the only criticism that I have for this scent is that whenever I wear it personally, I really don't get good longevity with this one, but it is still worth a sniff. It really is worth a sniff if you're looking for that very clean, musky, airy, transparent floral fragrance. You have to try this fragrance, but remember that the longevity is not that good. On my skin, I get about four hours and I overspray like a mother. I only get four hours and then it's gone. So you're gonna need to reapply this one a lot. But despite that, I think that this would make a beautiful bridal scent. Okay, you guys, a fragrance that I just received this week um, in PR. This is not a sponsored post at all, but I'm, I just made a TikTok about it actually because when I smelled this fragrance, I gasped. Like I was literally like, oh my God. Like this is a classic wedding in a bottle. This fragrance right here is when, you're younger and you're watching TV and you see this beautiful, huge fairy tale wedding. This is the scent of that fairy tale wedding. This is High Grove Bouquet from Penhaligons. And you guys, I, I just cannot believe how perfect this fragrance is for somebody's wedding. Now, I do want to say, like, I have to clarify this with you guys. This is classic. This is not very modern. It's not very, it's not sexy at all. This is just beautiful, bride, classic wedding, old money, luxury. This is what the fragrance smells like. Oh my gosh, it's quite green. It has a freshness in the top. It has this beautiful tuberose note that smells quite realistic. 
I believe there is some lavender, there is some mimosa. I think that you get a lot of mimosa in this fragrance. There is a little bit of geranium. I think there's some woods in the base, but overall, you guys, I just cannot believe how beautiful this scent is for a wedding, for a bride. This is truly perfection in my eyes. And if I was to imagine a wedding day scent, I think that I would imagine exactly this. It really smells like the full bouquet of flowers. It smells like the stem, the greenness, plus the florals. It smells like everything all in one. It's luxurious, it's fresh, it's green, it's creamy. It has something a little bit kind of not spicy, but like warm and woody as well. It's just incredible. Do not blind buy this fragrance because like I said for the fifth time, it smells very classic. So it's not going to be for everyone. But in my humble opinion, this is just screams beautiful classic bride all over it. So try High Grove Bouquet from Penhaligons. It is truly spectacular. Obviously, you guys, we have Rouge Malikite from Armani Privé. Now, as you guys know, this is my baby. This is, this is my scent. Um, I've been wearing it for so many years. And, you know, actually, I don't know why I get emotional when I talk about it, but I have savored this fragrance so much. I only have about this much left in my bottle because I am not sure... Uh, if or when I will get married, but there is a chance that I will wear Rouge Malachite on my wedding day. I'm not sure, and I don't even know if I will get married. I'm not even engaged, but I have so many memories with this scent that they are so special to me that maybe I would like this fragrance to be associated to my wedding day. I'm not sure yet, like I said, but for me, Rouge Maliki is just the most perfect white floral to ever exist in my opinion. This is so beautiful and creamy and a little bit warm and spicy and ambery and woody in the base. It is just breathtaking. This is truly the most beautiful white floral fragrance that I have ever tried. This is tuberose mixed with some creamy, ambery notes, a lot of cashmere in here. There is warm spiciness on top, a nice soft woody dry down. It is truly incredible. It has a little bit of something like sunscreeny in there. Like there is something that reminds you of the note of sunscreen, but it is just incredible. This is another fragrance that I would recommend for a summer wedding. I just feel like it would smell so, so beautiful. Rouge Malachite is more for a sensual bride that's really in touch with her uh, femininity, her sexuality, her sensuality. This is not like that very feminine, typical bridal scent. This is, has something more sensual about it. So um, if that's you, you must try Rouge Malachite. Next up, we have Mise en Seur Très Cher. Now, you guys, I remember the first time that I smelled this fragrance, maybe five years ago now, I fell madly in love with this fragrance because it is just so gorgeous. This is definitely for the bride who wants something a little more sweet, a little more innocent, a little more candy-like. I haven't worn this fragrance for quite some time, but you guys, it is so so incredibly beautiful. It is so beautiful. What you have here is vanilla, sandalwood, orange blossom, jasmine, a lot of musk. It is just truly beautiful. Innocent, girly, feminine, cozy, sweet, comforting, Wow, wow, wow. This fragrance is spectacular and I do see this being a beautiful bridal scent. If you guys did want something a little more sweet and cocooning, try Pressure from Mise en Seur. I would say that you mostly get vanilla, sandalwood and a slight floral sensation underneath. The florals are definitely taking more of a backseat here, but they do play a role in the scent, of course. But guys, just trust me, this fragrance is incredible. It smells really innocent, really beautiful, and like I said, really feminine and just gorgeous. So love this fragrance. I really recommend it for a bride. If that's your type of scent, you must check out Pressure from Mise en Seur. It's actually my favorite fragrance from Mise en Seur. 
Um, I like Perfect Oud and Pressure the most. I'm not a big fan of For Your Love. I think it's a little bit unoriginal. And I have a lot of the other fragrances from the brand, but my favorite is Trecher and Perfect Oud. Okay, I'm quickly gonna mention this scent, just really quickly. Must Therapy from Initio Parfum would make a beautiful bridal scent. I could never wear this fragrance as my bridal fragrance because I wear this scent casually, but I do not want that to put off anyone um, that has never tried this scent because I believe that this could make a stunning bridal fragrance, not because of the bottle color, but because of the scent. This is musks and sandalwood and a warm, fruity touch. It is incredible, you guys. Like I said, I wear this casually, but I'm sure if you're somebody watching that has never smelled this fragrance and you are looking for something more like this for your wedding day, go and give it a sniff and you might fall in love with it because musk therapy is truly gorgeous. Like I said, musks, sandalwood, and like this warm fruitiness on the top. It is incredible. It's really peaceful. It's really beautiful. It's soft. It blends with your skin. It is incredible. And the good thing about this fragrance is that it lasts on the skin. It lasts about eight hours on my skin, six to eight hours with a really nice projection. Big compliment getter as well. You will be complimented on your scent if you wear this one. Another beautiful white floral to wear on your wedding day is a Cento Overdose from Zerzhov. Now, this is one, another one that I would personally consider for my wedding day because the thing that I love about a Cento Overdose is that it's very strong, it lasts on the skin, and it has something a little bit sexy about it. Wow. Accento Overdose is a very, very powerful jasmine scent. You have something a little bit fruity. There is something very green in the scent. And you almost get a slight soapiness coming from somewhere in the fragrance. It really is amazing. Some people may find this to be a little bit headache inducing. Myself, I do not at all. I absolutely love Accento Overdose, but it definitely has a very strong character. What I get from here is jasmine, this kind of fruitiness, maybe like a little bit of peach. I do get a green note and I also get something kind of soapy at the same time. It is absolutely incredible, really gorgeous, really opulent, really powerful and it's just incredible. So a beautiful jasmine perfume that I would recommend for the wedding day. It lasts on the skin about eight hours plus and it has a beautiful projection. So I feel like this fragrance would fit like a very strong character, like a woman that has a very strong character. Try a Cento Overdose. It is truly beautiful. Or if you're getting married in Italy, I feel like a Cento Overdose would be perfect. Guys, obviously I'm just going to breeze through this one. Delina from Parfum de Mali, gotta recommend it because it would make a stunning bridal scent. And actually I was watching one of my favorite TikTok creators, her name is Anastasia, but I think her TikTok handle is Stasi Baby maybe, or something like that. Stasia, Stasi, something like that. I absolutely love her videos and she is wearing Delina on her wedding day. So I know that a lot of women choose to wear Delina on their wedding day because it just, is so feminine, so gorgeous, so powerful, and so beautiful. Myself, I would never wear Delina because I have too many memories. I went on a few dates in the past when I was wearing Delina. I cannot wear Delina on my wedding day personally, but I can definitely recommend it to some of you who have never tried it or never smelled it before. This is a gorgeous plush, rosy scent. You have rose and peony and lychee and rhubarb and it's just incredible. It's truly femininity in a bottle. I just spat all over my camera. Delina is fresh and musky and floral and very beautiful and feminine and just a gorgeous bridal scent. So check out Delina if you have never tried it. I'm sure most of you that watch me know Delina, probably own it. And yeah, but I do recommend it as a bridal fragrance. Next up is something a little bit more unusual for a bridal scent. This is Unu from Jeroboam. Now Unu flies way under the radar and I have no idea why. Unu from Jeroboam is absolutely... Oh my God. There is so much sandalwood and vanilla in here. 
There is some florals. You have jasmine, you have ylang ylang. I think there's some patchouli in here. I'm gonna actually go ahead and read the notes on Sniff because this fragrance is super complex yet truly spectacular. So in the fragrance, you have jasmine, bergamot, sandalwood, patchouli, ylang ylang, pineapple, plum, pink pepper, and musk. And it is just spectacular. Myself, what I get is this gorgeous sandalwood fragrance with some vanilla, some florals. This fragrance is super under the radar, but I am telling you right now, again, if you are getting married, you have to check out Unu from Jeroboam because it may be the perfect fragrance for you. It's creamy, it's balmy, it's smooth. It has something a little bit vintage about it, but I want you to take that in the best way possible. Don't think that it smells like an old lady or it smells super outdated or anything like that. It just has something that is like a touch vintage or a little bit classic about it. And it is spectacular. Unu from Jeroboam, very comforting, very beautiful, very pure and innocent and just an incredible 10 out of 10 bridal perfume. So next up we have Amouage Honor 43. Now, this for me is another scent that smells like that fantasy wedding. This fragrance is what you think about when you're a child of a wedding day, of a fantasy wedding. This is it right here. Honor 43 is this beautiful bouquet of white florals. You have jasmine, gardenia, tuberose. I think there's some ylang ylang. There is everything in here. This is an explosion of white flowers, an explosion of white florals. It is truly truly beautiful. You have something a little bit tart, just a touch from some rhubarb in here. There is something a little bit green and crisp and it's so, so beautiful. In the base, you have some woods and some spices, but you don't really feel them. I am telling you right now, what you get from Honor 43 is a beautiful bouquet of very crisp, very fresh, very clean and dewy white florals. It is really beautiful. I really recommend this one to you guys to check out. It could make the perfect wedding day scent for somebody who wanted to go for a little more of a classic perfume. This is perfection. For all of you ladies that wanted something sweet yet floral, you have to check out Moon Carnival from Wilhelm Perfumery. This is exactly what I just said. This is a candied white floral. Actually, there is a note of marshmallow in here. There is also some passion fruit, but I don't feel the passion fruit too much. This is just a gorgeous, sweet, airy, slightly marshmallowy white floral with something a little bit green, a little bit creamy, Oh, wow, wow, wow. For me, Moon Carnival could make the perfect bridal scent for somebody that wanted something a little more addictive on their wedding day. Mm. This is for the bride who wants something a little more sweet and addictive, but not too much. None of the fragrances in this list are overwhelming in any sense. None of them are too sweet or too floral or too spicy. Just, they're all beautiful and really well balanced. So try Moon Carnival. The only thing with this one, again, is the longevity. On my skin, I got about six hours of pretty decent wear with a nice minimal projection, but it's definitely not a beast mode scent, which I feel like on your wedding day, you need your fragrance to, you know, do the test of time. And finally, my last recommendation is from Liquid Imaginaire. This is Liquid 2022. Now, I am wearing this fragrance non-stop. To be more specific, I am layering it with vibrato non-stop, you guys. I am completely enamored, obsessed, in love with this fragrance right here. Um, I cannot stop wearing it. It's super addictive and so unique. I don't know what it is about this scent, but it is so, so unique. What you have in here is mandarin and orange blossom, a lot of orange blossom. There is something super powdery about this scent. There is some sweetness. 
There is a saffron note in here. There is a solar note in here. I really don't even know how to describe this scent, but it is spectacular. Like absolutely spectacular. And you guys need to check this one out. If you wanted something um, not so conventional for your wedding day, you have to try out Liquid 2022. Like I said, powdery, yet floral, yet sweet and musky yet a little bit smoky or something it's just crazy this scent you guys you must check it out it is truly beautiful if you like killian's love don't be shy maybe you will like liquid 2022 do not think that they smell the same because they don't at all but i just have this feeling that people that like love don't be shy you may like the liquid 2022 i have to tell you this is highly highly complimented every time i wear this fragrance i am getting two compliments minimum when i'm wearing this scent um so yeah Incredible fragrance, really recommend it. Liquid 2022 from Liquid Imaginaire. That is it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'm sorry that it was so long, but I feel like I could talk about wedding day fragrances. I could recommend you guys so many more fragrances for the wedding day, um, but that's it. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you really soon. Bye bye.